Hello everyone, today in this video, we will learn how to profit from inflation, how to track inflation, how inflation affects asset values, and pros and cons of investing for inflation. Starting with the basics of inflation. In economics, inflation is a quantitative measure, one of quantity over quality, tracking the rate of change in prices of a standardized basket of goods. Inflation is defined as an increase in prices over time, and the rate of that increase is expressed as a percentage. Sharp deviations from a modest inflation rate in either direction present challenges for investors as well as consumers. That's because they have the potential for significant economic disruption. They also have varying and often unpredictable effects on various asset classes. Next, we shall see how to track inflation. The most common economic reports used to measure inflation are the Consumer Price Index, the Producer Price Index, and the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index. The PCE Price Index is the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge. The PCE is a broader measure than the CPI, and is weighted based on consumption measures used to derive the gross domestic product rather than on a household spending survey as the CPI. CPI measures the weighted average urban consumers pay for a standardized market basket of goods and services. It is reported monthly by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. PPI is a weighted average of prices realized by domestic producers. It includes prices from the first commercial transaction for many products and some services. After that we shall see how inflation affects asset values. While inflation's effects on the economy and asset values can be unpredictable, history and economics offer some rules of thumb. Inflation is most damaging to the value of fixed-rate debt securities, because it devalues interest rate payments as well repayments of principal. If the inflation rate exceeds the interest rate, lenders are in effect losing money after adjusting for inflation. This is why investors sometimes focus on the real interest rate derived by subtracting the inflation rate from the nominal interest rate. The assets that fare best under inflation are those assured of bringing in more cash or rising in value as inflation increases. First is real estate. Real estate is a popular choice, because it becomes a more useful and popular store of value amid inflation while generating increased rental income. Investors can buy real estate directly or invest in it by buying shares of a real estate investment trust or specialized fund. Real estate fared particularly well during an outbreak of persistent inflation during the 1970s. Then we have commodities. When inflation picks up investors often turn to tangible assets likely to rise in value. For centuries, the leading haven has been gold, and, to a lesser extent, other precious metals causing price to rise as inflation rises. Gold can also be purchased directly from a bullion or con dealer or indirectly by investing in a mutual fund or exchange-traded fund that owns gold. Investing in bonds may seem counterintuitive as inflation is typically harmful to fixed-rate debt. That's not the case for inflation-indexed bonds, which offer a variable interest rate tied to the inflation rate. Stocks have a reasonable chance of keeping pace with inflation, but when it comes to doing so, not all equities are created equal. For example, high dividend paying stocks tend to get hammered like fixed rate bonds in inflationary times. Investors should focus on companies that can pass their rising input costs to customers, such as those in the consumer staple sector. There are pros and cons to every type of investment hedge, just as there are pros and cons with every type of investment. The primary benefit of investing during inflation, of course, is to preserve the portfolio's value. The second reason is that one would want to keep his nest egg growing. It can also lead to diversify, which is always worth considering. Spreading the risk across a variety of holdings is a time-honored method of portfolio construction. However, the inflation tail should never wag the investment dog. If an individual have specific goals or timetables for his investment plan, don't swerve from them. Also, don't buy long-term growth stocks if the need for retirement income is imminent. An obsession with inflation should never get an individual out of his risk-tolerance comfort zone. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.